Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome. Thank you for being here. Make some noise. I have the privilege of opening the graduation ceremony of December 2017 for La Roche Global Hospitality Education in Switzerland. Now, before I begin, I know we're all very excited to see our graduates up here on stage. We have a professional photographer, so please keep the aisles clear to allow the students to parade around the room. Now, please stand and welcome the graduating students of December 2017. Thank you. Please take your seats. On behalf of La Roche Global Hospitality Education, we are delighted to welcome honoured dignitaries, parents, families and friends, guests, sponsors, members of our governing board, and of course, you, dear graduates. Congratulations once again. We're particularly honoured to welcome two guests today, Mr. Francis Cleaver, founder of Le Roche and Governing Board Chair and President, and Mr. Claudio Casanova, a member of the Governing Board. Thank you for being here.
To start the ceremony, I would like to introduce our Acting Chief Executive Officer to address the students and their families. Please welcome Dr. Fabian Fresnel. Thank you, Paul. Good evening. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I can't see anyone, but I'll try to, to manage. Dear graduates, parents, families, friends, alumni, uh, representative of the uh, city of Comontana, Centre de Congrès, uh, representative of the board, Mr. Cleaver, Mr. Casanova from Summer Education, dear colleagues from the staff, faculty, management, special uh, regards being sent to Mr. Luca Virgilio, who is our guest speaker today, alumnus 1993. Thank you very much for being with us today. And also Mr. Nissenbaum, graduate of 1988, whose son is today graduating, and I believe I heard that maybe another member of the family may join. Congratulations, and thank you for being with us, Mr. Nissenbaum. Certainly a special day for all of you. Hope you guys are happy. Uh, if this is a graduation ceremony, uh, I thought Leo's students were better at partying. Anyway, but maybe I'm, ah, okay. Now we're talking. Very warm welcome to all of you to a beautiful and snowy Switzerland. Have you seen we? We've ordered some snow so that you can see what your offspring and, and daughters and son went through over the last three and a half years of hard work, commitment, exhaustive parties, <laughs> spending long nights working on projects and long hours dedicated to Facebook. Well, you've made it. Congratulations. Certainly today is a day of uh, celebration, day of joy, and uh, I'm sure a day of full of emotions. There are lots of friends around here, sometimes very good friends, sometimes more than friends. <clears throat> I will not elaborate on this one, but... <laughs> and those friends today you're going to leave, and others you're going to live with. But uh, one thing for sure, this is a, a day of a new life, of a beginning, and I hope tonight you're going to enjoy every single minute because ahead of you, you have a, a rocky journey. Let me also take this opportunity to thank everyone at Les Roches Bluches, the staff, kitchen, stewarding, housekeeping, management, faculty, who made this event possible. Thank you very much, dear colleagues. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank the sponsors by sponsors, I mean the parents. <laughs> I think this is high time they are being thanked for all the money they've spent. <laughs> Hopefully this is over. Not sure though. Uh, so parents, families and friends who made this education possible, who believed in you, and invested in your future. And I don't think that there's anything better and most beautiful than people who are invested in the future of their offsprings. Someone one day said, and I don't remember his name, but uh, for the sake of mentioning what he said, knowledge is the only investment that is not subject to diminishing returns. For those who work in private banking, hope this is true. Uh, so I think parents, families, and friends once again, you deserve a round of applause. Thank you very much. As far as the students, I mean, soon to be graduates, you're about to embark on a unfortunately complicated journey. Challenges ahead of you are potentially far greater than the one we and maybe humankind has ever experienced. You will be confronted with tremendous opportunities, but also the tremendous challenges of technology, robots, artificial intelligence, people are saying that we're going to lose tens and hundreds of millions of jobs. And that, of course, is linked to aging populations, endless lives, and so forth. 
So you are not the only uh, only the, the next generation of leaders in this industry, but you're also human being who will impact our world greatly. You will have obviously very difficult decisions to make when potentially confronted to investors. You will trade off potentially the so-called contact-free experience that any investor is dreaming of versus millions, thousands, dozens of jobs, low-skilled jobs that you will have in your company or your hotel. And here you've enjoyed three and a half years, sometimes more, of close relationship, and I'm convinced that you will carry the, this and those relationship abilities forward. You have enjoyed, you have enjoyed human interaction. Those human interactions are at the very essence of our industry. So you are the next generation of enlightened hoteliers, responsible leaders and people who will somehow decide where you want to take this world. And fortunately, altogether, we are lucky because we have embraced an industry that brings people together, like today, that connects the diversity, connects the religions and entertains irrespective of age and origin. I believe our industry at large has a tremendous future because the more disconnected we're going to be with the use of technology and robots and artificial intelligence, the more we need to aggregate around hospitality, social interactions, food, restaurants, you name it, our industry. Remember those good moments spent with your friends in this small village? Thank you to Mr. Cleva who made this call appear some years ago. I will not mention the number of years. I think this family is a tremendous family and you're going to have people all around the world who will support you. In a few moments, you will be alumni, graduates and alumni, and remember to host and help each other in this world that hopefully, again, you will make a better world. We wish you, all of us at Les Roches Bleus, wish you a tremendous future, wonderful opportunities, good luck, and live your life with patience. Bye-bye. Thank you. Greetings from Chicago. My name is Joe Norio and I'm the campus manager here for La Roche Chicago. You're going to hear a lot of congratulations today and they're very well deserved, but I also wanted to make sure that we took the time to say thank you. Thank you for choosing to make the investment in yourself and your future by choosing La Roche for your education. Today you join an amazing group of alumni across the globe and so I hope to see you as you travel in your future career here in Chicago. Congratulations and thanks again. Thank you, Dr. Fresnel. We now proceed to the awarding of the certificates. Ladies and gentlemen, to announce the students, it's my pleasure to introduce you to the program manager of the Bachelor of Business Administration program, Mr. Wolf Gerskam. Thank you, dear students. Thank you for everybody. Thanks for the warm applause. Thanks for the amazing welcome. Thank you very much indeed. Dear graduates, parents, sponsors, visitors, colleagues, and ladies and gentlemen, for me, it's a very great honor today to stand here at the graduation ceremony for our bachelor students and to speak to all of you. First, I would like to express my gratitude to all the faculty members and all colleagues lecturing on and supporting the bachelor program. May I also thank the class delegates, Carolina, Christopher, Jojo, Dylan, Ashley, Henny, for having such a wonderful job. Thank you very much indeed. As an instructor, I have had the privilege to see you advancing over the past three and a half years. You have shown academic excellence over the past years, and indeed you can be very proud of yourself. I've got to know you as extremely open-minded ladies and gentlemen, always striving to learn more, to gain more knowledge, and to experience new things. Especially, I would like to highlight as well your commitment to student initiatives. For example, 
the great success of the FHS, Wine Club, WOW Expo, and to also mention we have done this voluntarily, this was not assessed. Please bear in mind that the world of hospitality and tourism lives from connections, especially friendships. And you have made great friendships over the past three and, three and a half years of your studies. You as a group have connected extremely well and you have made great friendships. I would like to quote one author. Success is where opportunity and preparation meets. So please keep in touch also professionally, also having the friendships. Nowadays, it's very easy to keep in touch. Your favorite Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and so on and so forth. Don't forget, you are the future of hospitality, so stay in touch and aim high. Honored guests, we are proud of our cultural diversity here at La Roche, which makes us very unique. Our graduating bachelor students today represent more than 50 different nationalities from all over the world. Every continent is represented. In today's world of hospitality, in today's world generally, to work with cultures and colleagues from diverse backgrounds, this is a great and inevitable learning experience to our students. They might not have fully realized today how much important that is, but I'm sure the understanding will come very, very soon. Today, our students will receive a Bachelor of Business, Business Administration in International Hotel Management with a specialization either in entrepreneurship, marketing, finance, health and wellness management, events management, or innovation. Additionally, when I will call each student individually forward, I will also indicate the academic, academic achievements. For those students who have a merit, that means they have an average overall from the last two consecutive semesters between 75 and 84 percent. For the great achievers for distinction, those students have achieved an 85 and above average over two consecutive semesters. For those students, I will announce with an honors degree, they have taken the opportunity to write a dissertation over the past few months. May I now please invite Mr. Colin Small, the Academic Dean of Le Roche, to come forward to present the degrees. First row, left side, please come forward to the podium. From India, Advani Yash Dinesh. From the United Kingdom, Alan Rupert Henry John Honours Merit. From Lebanon, Ati Joy with Merit. From India, Banka Puja Honours Distinction. From Morocco, Benhaman Saad. From Indonesia, Dinoto Joyce and Sukma with merit. From Turkey, Erol Izgi with merit. From France, Espalier Océan Marie Rosé Adienne with merit. From Switzerland, Fernandez Luca Francis with honest distinction. From Spain, Garcia Bella Silvia with distinction. From India, Garg Tuhina Honours Distinction. From the United States, Gibbs Dylan Avery Honours Merit. From Israel, Grepler Shelley Rachel with Merit.
from South Korea, Han Tae-joon with merit. From France, Hoffman Luna Christina. From Lebanon, Hukayem Joseph. From Switzerland, Keller Vincent. From Azerbaijan, Khana Mad Leila Honors Distinction. From the Russian Federation, Khipankova Kristina with merit. From India, Kurana Paramjit Singh. From Germany, Kleffel Philipp with merit. From China, Kong Dixuan with distinction. From Paraguay, Kuzu Peggy Pace here with merit. From Indonesia, Lambung Elbert with merit. From South Korea, Lee Yoon Han with merit. From France, Let Clemence with honors distinction. From Italy, Licelli Gianluca Cesario. From Singapore, Lim Peng Daryl Honors Merit. From Chile, Leo Correa D. Yin with distinction. From Taiwan, Leo Cameron. From Italy, Marcuini Ivo. From Panama, Martin Navarro Madeleine del Carmen with merit. From Spain, Martin Velasquez Garcia Leandro with merit. From India, Manon Baskar with merit. From Italy, Mortari Eduardo with merit. From Albania, Muratai Eneder honors merit. From Pakistan, Navid Sanya with merit. From Vietnam, Nguyen Nok Han with merit. From Vietnam, Nguyen Thai Khan Robert. From the United Kingdom, Nissenbaum Max Abbey with merit. From Colombia, Ordonez Calas Erika honors distinction. <laughs> From
from India, Pawa Shivin with merit. From Greece, Pazidis Theodoros Theopistos. From France, Pavé Calu Audrey with merit. From Spain, Prado Carlos Antonio honors distinction. From Germany, Kaiser Katharina Freer Chiao Lian with merit. From India, Ratore Lovia Mewa with merit. From Thailand, Sardeva Priyanka with honors distinction. From Mexico, Sanchez Garcia Cala de Rossio with distinction. From the United Kingdom, Sandra Koch Lydia Alexandra with distinction. From Malaysia, Sawing Dixon Ghana Anak Jonathan with merit. From Lebanon, Sayas Rami with distinction. From Spain, Solera Bosiraga Christian with merit. From Taiwan, Su Tzu Min with merit. From Spain, Suarez de Puga Sobel de Aya Bosco Enrique with merit. From Indonesia, Suasika Gede Akadama with merit. From China, Sun Kiwe. From Vietnam, Ta Kao Duk with merit. From India, Toras Kayash honors merit. From Hungary, Vek Alexandra honors merit. From India, Verma Shrey. From Italy, Vitozzi Leandro with merit. From Indonesia, Vijaya Ashley Clarice honors distinction. From China, Yi Ze with merit. From South Korea, Yoo Yu Yoon with merit. The following students will now receive a Bachelor of Business Administration in Hotel Management with a specialization in marketing. From India, Aibara Malcolm. From Romania, Barbo Ioana Anemona with merit. From France, Berlia de Vauplan Joffrey with merit.
From Sweden, Brodin Alexandra Honors Distinction. From Italy, Shiavari Gian Bernardino. From Brunei, Chung Ching Yi with merit. From Italy, Grandore Francesca with merit. From the Russian Federation, Grozovskaya Maria with distinction. From India, Gupta Vivek Vinod. From Thailand, Ishihara Kaichi. From the Czech Republic, Kasperova Karolina with merit. From India, Kanna Rishab with merit. From India, Kulkani Aman Abi with merit. From Argentina, Martinez Puente Delfina with merit. From Italy, Michel Lazzo Marco with merit. From Italy, Morelli Lorenzo with merit. From Italy, Morelli Luca with merit. From the United Kingdom, Morrison Colley Hugo. From France, Nuyen Thierry Sarah with distinction. From India, Rao Ria with merit. From Spain, Rico Buffel Ines Antonia. From India, Rohwani Radhan Rahul with merit. From Thailand, Rojra Parisut. From India, Siddiq Faisal. From the Russian Federation, Siri Nova Maria with merit. From France, Tanguy Pauline Lilia Adrienne with merit. From Italy, Villa Verde Lucilia honors distinction. From Canada, Juan Christopher. <laughs> the following students will now receive a Bachelor of Business Administration in Hotel Management with a specialization of Events Management. From Azerbaijan, Akunov Ulvi with merit. From Turkey, Aygun Muhammad Mert. From India, Bhushan Nitika.
from Indonesia, boy Monica with merit. <laughs> from Portugal, Damasio Hippolito dos Santos Ines with merit. From France, Devonai Corali with merit. From Peru, Garnisa Verea Almodena. From India, George Nicole Fiona with distinction. From Malaysia, He Jia Wei. From Hong Kong, Ho Su Tang. <laughs> dear guests, dear students, we'd like now to show you one congratulatory message from our sister campus in Shanghai from Jingjiang. Congratulations, graduates. I would like to wish you all the best as you start your career in hospitality. I know that there are many opportunities for you to choose, but if you have not decided where to go, you might consider coming to China. Once again, good luck to you all. The following students will now receive a Bachelor of Business Administration in International Hotel Management with Events Management. From Taiwan, So Ku. <laughs> From China, Su Sue Ting. From China, Yi Ang with merit. From South Korea, Kim Jong Woo with merit. <laughs> From France, Langlois de Moyen Margot Louise with merit. From South Korea, Lee Hyun So with merit. From Taiwan, Lee Yi Chen with merit. From Taiwan, Lee Wan Yu with merit. From the Russian Federation, Levkovskaya Ekaterina with merit. From South Korea, Lim Yun Gun. From Taiwan, Lin Zi Yi with merit. From China, Liu Li. From China, Lu Jing. From Thailand, Luxa Mimo Moko Chai Likasit. From the Russian Federation, Malyesheva Ulyana with merit. From Switzerland, Martin Dominique with merit. From Iran, Musavi Vifaraiva Saida Mariam.
from Switzerland, Nussbaum and Larissa. From China, Pang Su Sheng. From Greece, Papa Kalia with distinction. From the United Kingdom, Riley James Patrick. From Spain, Rodeja y Gason Isabel with merit. From India, Singh Rouhani. From China, Su Tingya. From the Russian Federation, Sviridova Daria with merit. From Macau, Tang Yi Wing. From Tunisia, Tata Mehdi. From Portugal, Vera de Campos Esteves Marcos Martin Jose. From Taiwan, Wang Shang Jui with merit. From China, Wang Yu Xiao. From Myanmar, Wawar Mint with merit. From China, Wei Yi Feng. From Hong Kong, Wong Yu Yi Rachel with merit. From Indonesia, Wu Marvin Julio with merit. From China, Xu Xiao. From Taiwan, Ye Shu Ting. From Taiwan, Yuan Pei Suan with merit. From China, Zhao Ye Wen with merit. From China, Zhu Zilin. The following students will now receive a Badge of Business Administration in International Hotel Management with Health and Wellness Management. From Taiwan, Chiu Yi Lung with distinction. <laughs> From the Russian Federation, Danilova Valeria with merit. From Belgium, Haloy Helen with distinction. From Romania, Hulia Elena. From the United Kingdom, Patel Riana Kalpish. From the Netherlands, Fersteg Danilia with merit. <laughs> From
from Malaysia, Yap Wan Yin with distinction. The following students will now receive a Bachelor of Business Administration International Hotel Management with Finance. Abelo Gabriela Cusedo Lopez with distinction. From From Mexico, Alvidrez Guero Maria Jose with distinction. From the United States, Baldacci Stefan Perry. From Malaysia, Shia Mingyi with merit. From China, Shen Hao Tong. From Portugal, Chuna Ines Gonzalez Maria Beatriz, honest distinction. From Portugal, Da Costa Martins Miguel Luis with merit. From Serbia, Daya Mihailo, honors merit. From Honduras, Duran Aguilera Mebe Andrea with distinction. From Singapore, Gu Tong Han honors distinction. From China, Gong Yu with merit. From China, Han Ming Ming with merit. From Canada, Hand Christopher James honors distinction. From Taiwan, Hong Ching Ya. From Mexico, Ifa Ganchi Sebastian Albert with merit. From Thailand, Jira Vuti Pong Natasha with merit. From India, K. Sanya Samir honors merit. From Germany, Kern Steven with merit. From the Russian Federation, Hamula Tatiana with merit. From Malaysia, Lee Hyu Jun with distinction. From Thailand, Lady Rakul Nida Angela with distinction. From Hong Kong, Lee Jennifer An Luna with merit. From Vietnam, Luong Tui An. From Japan, Matsushita Tetsu.
for Belgium, Mesa Ortega Lucy Honors Merit. From Sweden, Merla Annefried Honors Distinction. From Vietnam, Nguyen Le Dao V with distinction. From Mexico, Oropesa Sanchez Laura Andrea with merit. From the Russian Federation, Ozemblovsky Leonid Honors Distinction. From China, Pan Xiu Hang. From India, Parasha Akshay AK with merit. From South Korea, Park Sung Min with merit. From the Russian Federation, Popova Marina with merit. From the Russian Federation, Selkova Anastasia honors merit. From the United States, Sherman Sean Michael. From Portugal, Simoes Correa Vera Leite Carolina with merit. From India, Singh Sagar with merit. From Thailand, Tarapan Krisada with distinction. From France, Thibault Pierre with merit. From Spain, Visido Pianes David with merit. From the United Kingdom, what Arabella honors distinction. From Hong Kong, Wong Shu Yu with merit. From Germany, Wurst Alex Marcel with merit. From the Netherlands, Yu Yu Kian Jojo distinction. From China, Zhang Xi. From China, Zhong Wanzhen with merit. From China, Zhu Shifan with merit. The following students will now receive a Bachelor in Business Administration International Hotel Management with Innovation. From Hong Kong, Shung Sarah Lok Wa with Distinction. <laughs> From the Russian Federation, Evdor Kimova Vlada. <laughs> From France, Hamad Elodie Sandrine with Merit. From Colombia, Ney Salazar Maria Juliana with distinction. From Norway, Tanberg Henny Sophie Tanarud with honors distinction.
from South Africa, Waka Akila Nazir Honours Distinction. From China, Zhang Li Wen. And from China, Zhang Wang Bing with merit. Graduates, congratulations once again from my side, and I would like you now to move your tussle from the right to the left side. And now you are fully graduated. Congratulations once more. I would like to now show you once more one congratulation video from our sister campus from Marbella. Hello from Marbella. I send you on behalf of the entire student community, teachers and staff of La Roche Marbella, a warm message of congratulations for this day of recognition. Congratulations as well to all teachers and staff of La Rose Blues who have dedicated themselves to offer the best of their knowledge and skills to help you to grow as professionals. Dear students, from today professionals and alumni, I encourage you to demonstrate with commitment, pride, humility and passion your excellent preparation as professionals. Remember that we have a great responsibility, making a positive difference in communities around the world. Best wishes from La Rose Marbella to all of you. Thank you, Mr. Guskamp, and a special thank you to our student ambassadors that stop people falling down the stairs there. <laughs> Dear graduating class, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you today's guest speaker, uh, Mr. Luca Virgilio, a La Roche graduate of 1993. He's worked in hotels throughout Switzerland, UK and Italy. Today, he's the general manager of Hotel Eden in Rome, Italy. I'd like to invite him to the stage. It's always very good to be back. I have to say it looks a little bit different, few of us uh, in my time, but uh, that means that it's very good and things are going well. First of all, congratulations to all of you, fellow students, for, uh, for graduating today. Uh, my compliments to you for being here. Um, when I was contacted and asked to, to come and, and give my speech, I was honored, happy, and of course my very first big question was what I'm going to tell you about. Um, it seems like yesterday I was where you are now, and um, think and think, I said, I'm going to take the easy way out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to share part of my professional life. I'm not going to, of course, read you my CV or anything like that, but I want to uh, share some of, my, uh, some of the learnings that I have in the hopes that maybe it can be uh, a learning or inspiration for, for some of you. Today, it's a, it's a big day. It's an important day. You're graduating, and today is also an important day because you're becoming a little bit less uh, your father, mother's little boy or girl if that can ever be the case anyway. But at the same time, you are growing. Uh, you're venturing into the adult world and you're ready to make your mark in this world. Um, it's exciting, it's uh, intoxicating, and I'm sure uh, there's a lot of energy in the air. And at the same time, it might be even a little bit scary, but that's okay. 
because one of the first things, one of my first learning that I want to share is, uh, do not hurry to grow up. Uh, let me expand. Uh, you know, I was, I was in my time where you are now, uh, left for London, started working, great hotel, front desk, and uh, you know, great team, great colleagues. And yet, I was always looking ahead. I was looking, when I'm gonna get that job? When I'm gonna get that job? And so I was so focused in getting that job that I was not enjoying the moment. I wanted to grow up too fast. And that I say to you, do not pressurize yourself into a career war path. Um, enjoy the moment, be present in the moment. Your first job is the job you need to fall in love with, and that's gonna set the pace for the rest of your career. It's going to be probably an easier job. You won't have a million uh, you know, uh, challenges or headaches, but that's okay, because that do not worry. They'll come in time. You'll have lots of sleepless nights and uh, lots of worries. So that job needs to be fun, because when you have fun, you're happy. And when you're happy, you perform. And that's how organically your career can start and be set in the pace. Um, in a very organic way. Another thing that I want to share with you, which I, I, it was very important to me and I hope it will help you as well, is choose your path. The education that we received during these, these years was a very good education. It gave you a very good insight into the hotel world, whether it's through marketing, sales, human resources, finance, operation, the stage. You did it all, so you have a very good insight. So now, when you go out there in the world, don't do it all over again. Don't start moving from one department to the other because you feel you have to. That means you would have wasted your time and your parents' money. You're already ready for that. So choose your passion, choose your path. Where is your passion lies in? And then stick to that path and go along that road and never falter. So if you like FMB, start your career and that's where you go. Otherwise, you will end up after five or six years, you have done a lot, but you've done nothing. My suggestion or what I've learned along the way is, is exactly that. And where you work, where your passion is, of course, that's where you excel. So focus on your strengths, double down on your strengths. Forget what you're not good at, because what you are good at, that's where it's going to set, this, set you out from the rest. Every two years, you need to move a little bit up. That's what you need to put yourself in mind. Uh, so if it happens in the hotel that you're working in, that is great. If it doesn't, look elsewhere. Uh, in the company that you're working in or otherwise elsewhere. The world is big and I say if Maometto doesn't go to the mountain, the mountains goes to Maometto. By the time you're 28, you should be running a department. Um, my suggestion is when you move, move upwards. When you leave a job, go up, don't go laterally. When I was in Geneva a few years ago, I was rooms division manager. The general manager called me over and said, Luca, uh, the director of sales and marketing has left. Why don't you take that position? I feel you would be very good at it. And in my head was, where is that in my career path that I chose? I chose the front desk. So yes, I could do that job, but then it would have meant I would have had another three years waiting for the real job that I wanted that was uh, a number two position. So as I said, every job that you leave, go a step up. And whatever decision you make, don't make money to be the reason for it. The reason, the, the decision that you make it needs to be, is it fit for what you have uh, foreseen for yourself, for, for the path that you have chosen. Along the way, you will meet Many great people, whether people above you, on the side, or even lower. Be humble. Always know that there's always something to learn from the person next to you. Uh, be observant. And there's always many things that you grasp and enrich you every day. You're a puzzle, and every single piece can be given to you from somebody which is next to you. I had the luck of working with great GMs, and from each one of them, I took something, and then I gave it my own spin. Um, try to find a mentor. 
somebody that can have the outside perspective, I can, can accompany you throughout your career. I was lucky enough to find somebody in my early stages, and he has been my mentor for the last 25 years. He's come to my wedding and everything. But that's, that's a big thing. That's a big thing, to find somebody who has the outside perspective. I can help you. I'm having this issue. Uh, I've been offered this job. What do you think? That is something that I highly, highly recommend in having. So to sum it up, my three key learning, and there's a fourth one that I'm going to tell you, is have fun, be present in the moment. That's the natural way of giving the best of yourself. Choose your path and stick to it, and try to find a mentor. The last ingredient, and I'm sorry, there's no way around this, is work hard. So thank you very much, and congratulations once again, and the best of luck with your career. Thank you, Mr. Luca Vecchio. Uh, please accept this uh, small gift from us. I'd like to ask uh, Dr. Fabian Fresnel to present to you with a gift and token of our appreciation. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue on with our ceremony today with the presentation of student prizes. <laughs> to announce the prizes, I'd like to welcome back our academic dean, Mr. Colin Small. Congratulations from me, students, and I'm very happy to have the chance now to come forward and present prizes to a, a few of you. I, I had the privilege of chairing the awards board um, earlier this week, the beginning of this week, and there were many excellent, excellent results, superb achievements all around, and you all, at the end of the day, deserve a prize. Unfortunately, we have limited time and we have many generous sponsors, so we had to make some decisions about some of the prizes today, so I hope you will be um, very happy to hear some of the special awards that are going to be given. Obviously at the meeting earlier this week we were looking at some of the wonderful academic achievements the students have been making during the last year of their studies here. You've had a number of students with honours, distinctions, etc., who have really worked and strived hard. I'd like to ask three students who, looking at the grades um, that we were reviewing earlier this week, have achieved averages well in excess of 90%. I'd like to ask three students to come forward to receive magnums of champagne, very nice, offered by Verve Clicquot, and to be presented by Mr. Julian Marietti of the sponsor. Please, Mr. Marietti. The three students, uh, I think you can all come up together, although you might pose individually for photographs, are with 91% average from Malaysia, Miss Yap Wan Yin Candice, please. And with 91%, Miss Chung Lok Wa Sarah from China, please. And with 92% from Canada, Mr. Christopher Hand, please. Thank you, Mr. Marietta, but the students, can you wait here for me, please? Yes. We're going to do some more photographs. Just behind me. And be patient. <laughs> However, 
there was another student who made a higher average. Our top academic student for the BBA 6 and 7 semester has a prize of 1,000 Swiss francs, very generously offered by um, the Bar Constellation, and I'm pleased the owner, Mrs. Jessica Moretti, is here to present the prize. with an amazing average 93% from France, Miss Clemence Lay. The faculty at the meeting earlier this week were asked to consider a prize offered by Mr. Philip Zahn, the owner of the Edo restaurant and alumni of La Roche, um, of 500 Swiss francs to be awarded to the student who's deemed to have their best attitude towards their studies and approach in the classroom during this last year. And uh, that took a long debate of the BBA six and seven teachers. There are many people deserving. Um, unfortunately, Mr. Philip Zahn isn't here today, so I'm going to ask the programme manager, Mr. Wolfgast Camp, to come forward, please, to give this. And after much deliberation, votes, re-votes and recounts, the prize eventually was awarded to very deservedly from the UK, Miss Lydia Sandakov. event that has dominated the lives of these students for the last month is a, a little something that they won't forget in a long time called the Capstone Project. And we have a very generous um, sponsor, Anta Insurance, who's made a donation for today's ceremony to award to the best Capstone Project of 2,000 Swiss francs oh. to be shared amongst the group. It is a group. <laughs> um, I'm very happy to ask Dr. Bruno Eccles, the capstone coordinator, to please come forward to present the prize. <laughs> and this best on grades of presentations, written work, etc., etc. A big piece of work that went in by all the students with some, uh, I understand, wonderful reports and presentations made. A group of eight students, which I think it's a wonderful group to see the diversity of La Roche because we have eight students and eight different nationalities. As soon as I start saying the names, they'll realize who they are. So I'll try and be patient for this group. We have students from France, China, Norway, South Korea, India, the UK, Indonesia, Serbia, Pauline, Ashley, Lydia, Zong Wan Zen, Mihao Jo, Henny, Kim Young Woo, Nikita, Group 13, I believe. Okay. 
try and pause with Dr. Eccles for a photograph, gentlemen, if you go to that side. <laughs> and well done. Come and stand behind me, please. Come and stand behind me. Okay, lots of jealous groups, but there we are. Another big piece of work done by many students this semester was their undergraduate dissertation. A prize has been offered by Labara Mobile Phone Company um, of 1,000 francs to be awarded to the top dissertation produced by an undergraduate student in this 2017 second semester. I would like to ask one of our dissertation coordinators Dr. Gretel Kamseya, please to come forward to award the prize. And after all the dissertations were double and indeed some often triple marked, the prize goes to a student who wrote about organic food and attitudes and Parisian organic restaurants, and I think she's behind me, Miss Clemence Lett. Please. And we move on to a prize related to careers, jobs, internships. Our CDIP department, our Career Development Industry Placement Department, who work endlessly with students in helping them find their careers, who support them incredibly. And this is a prize of 500 francs has been offered by Mrs. Gillian Lana, who is a, a good support to La Roche and comes and coaches our students on their best career paths and on their appearance and on how they should approach that first movement into the world of work. After, again, much deliberation, the student who uh, will receive this prize from, I should ask Mr. Agostinus Soridis from the Career Development Department, please to come forward. The student who's been most active in using all the resources available to pursue all possible career opportunities, and it goes to from the Netherlands, Miss Yu Yukian Jojo, please. <laughs> Agostinos, well done Zojo, please join the increasing number of students behind me. I'm starting to get nervous now. We move on to the Student Life Award, uh, an award that is um, to a large extent decided by our Dean of Students and Hair Team in the Student Services Department. This prize is offered by Cron Montana Tourism and is a beautiful Mont Blanc pen with the value of, I think, uh, several, several hundred francs, and will be presented by Head of Student Services, Mr. Damian Fellman, please, to the stage. <laughs> A student whose many qualities in the roles he has undertaken during his time as a La Roche student has proved positive, reliable, professional, very organised, great communication skills. And as head of the Student Social Committee, Rami Sayers has earned this award.
And our final award is to be awarded to the student who had the best academic and, for that matter, practical achievements over the full three and a half years of their studies at La Roche. It's a La Roche branded Swiss watch, so something to remember the school by for many years. And I hope Dr. Jamie Jones will come to the stage to present the award. Dr. Jones. And it's not the biggest surprise in the world that the best achievement over the full three and a half years was from France, Clemence Letts. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Jones. And I think we want all the students who have just received prizes now to come back to the middle of the stage, receive our applause, and have a group photograph, please. Come back. Smaller guys at the front, big guys at the back. You may all go back to your seats, but you will wait. So thank you again to our generous sponsors and congratulations to those students. So we move to the final speech presentation of the ceremony, the one I think the students are especially are waiting for, and our valedictorian speech is going to talk on behalf of the entire graduating class is Miss Clemence Lett. Please come forward, Clemence. valued guests, family, friends, members of the executive committee, and faculty members today invited. Thank you very much for being here and attending this particular ceremony today. But above all, I would like to congratulate all of you, or I will say all of us, the BBA 7 batch 2017, today graduating. Congratulations. I have today the fantastic opportunity to deliver this speech on the behalf of my fellow graduates, a bunch of talented, open-minded, and dynamic individuals, entering for most of us as from tomorrow in the exciting and entertaining working life of the hospitality industry. My name is Clemence. I'm 22 years old. I come from the beautiful country of France, as you might have recognized from my terrible French accent. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm convinced that I was born by nature as an extremely hardworking individual. Maybe too much sometimes, as my parents always say. The library in La Roche, I know it better than anyone else in here. <laughs> However, I don't only work hard at school, but most importantly, in the real life, such as during my previous work experiences. You might ask yourself, why do I behave like that? Well, I don't have any answer for you, except the fact that I have the ambition and the conviction, as many of us, to make a significant impact in the world of hospitality. 
and become, in a couple of years, one of the most successful leaders of this fascinating industry. First of all, I would like to thank my parents, grandparents, and siblings to their presence, and without whom I will not stand here today. For all parents, family members, and friends attending the ceremony or watching it from abroad, we cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us. I also would like to warmly thank all faculty members of La Roche, along with the members of the CDIP department, all dedicated to share with us their extended knowledge and giving us all the necessary tools to become successful future leaders. I would like to personally thank Dr. Kumsier, my project management teacher and dissertation supervisor, who devoted efforts to support and guide me during my last two semesters here in La Roche, as well as Agostino Soridis from the CDIP department, advising me and supporting me with a lot of commitment at all time in finding the right internships and the right job at the right time, at the right place, and with the right people. Lastly, I'm grateful to all of you, 2017 graduating students. We finally all made it. BB1 seems like it was yesterday, but time has flown, and our studies in the Swiss mountains comes to an end today. We might think back to our entire journey in La Roche, such as the first time we all met, the first time we swiped our, car, our student card to enter a marketplace, the first time, the time required to understand each other, which wasn't always an easy task. The peaceful environment may be too peaceful sometimes in which we were living. The friendships we made, the number of glasses we broke during our service shift, the alarm ringing at four in the morning telling us that it is time to go to our breakfast duty. The color of our apron at the end of our kitchen shifts. Our tremendous group work assignments for IP in BBA 4, as well as the hectic capstone project in BBA 7. And finally, for some of us, the uncountable hours spent in the library to successfully complete our dissertation. Even though we have all studied here together for almost four years and that we have formed a united family, sharing the same passion for this industry, each of us is different, coming from more than 50 different countries, having different backgrounds, different mentalities, and a unique personality. Will it be the unique Emily from Brunei visiting a new country every week? Helen from Malaysia, crying of happiness when she realized that she randomly picked me in her group for IP. <laughs> Helen from Belgium, going to the gym from, I will say, four to five times a day. <laughs> Ashley from Indonesia, future talented head chef. Luca and Daryl, the inseparable pair since BBA1. <laughs> or the beloved couple, Pierre and Vlada, we will, without any doubt, prepare their wedding soon. <laughs> Today, feelings of pride, emotions, and excitement to close a chapter of our life and start a new one bring us together. During our studies in La Roche, we made friendships. We supported each other when needed. And even though it is now time for us to take new and most probably different paths, and to successfully leave our mark in different parts of the world, I'm convinced that the way of life that we experience all together here in the rush is what makes today, and will remain in the future, the force of our family. La Roche did not only teach us academic skills, but also help us to live and work together take part in the student life community, become mature individuals, and hence, be fully prepared to become future talented professionals. 
using the words of Mr. Gregory Maliasas, alumni from La Roche, and today senior president of operations for luxury brands of at Hack Hotel, a company for which I will start working in a few weeks. Even though Le Roche is today recognized as a top hospitality management school in the world, and our studies will be a solid foundation for our future career, our Bachelor of Business and Administration will not be sufficient to, to be successful tomorrow. We will, we will need more than that to, be, to succeed. We will need a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work, and guess what? Uh, again, a lot of hard work. <laughs> to put an end to this pitch, I will let you reflect on the very valuable words from another success story of La Roche, Elsa Bisco, an individual for whom I have a lot of admiration. Elsa Bisco graduated in 2005 and is currently general manager of a luxury boutique hotel in Paris, where I did my internship in BBA 5. When I asked her what was her definition of success, this is what she replied to me. Always believe in yourself and in your dreams. The more you are convinced of this, the better chances you have of it coming true. There is always an excuse to give up, but if you keep fighting for it, you will always find a way. Be yourself and be proud of who you are and where you come from. And when you are not sure of why life gives you struggles, ask yourself how you can learn from that experience to become a better person. It might just be exactly what you need. Dear graduates, I wish to all of you best of luck, new memories, new experiences, new success, and once again, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Small, and especially thank you again to Clemence. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've now come to the end of the graduation ceremony, and it's time to express our thanks to many people who've made this academic semester successful and this graduation ceremony possible. Sincere thanks to the program managers, faculty, librarians, the academic offices, the registrar and her team, admissions and the internship and careers teams, as well to all academic and support teams who have been there dedicated to your success, dear graduates, since the beginning, including student services, reception, IT, student accounts, nurses, maintenance, housekeeping and all other staff. And a particular thank you to the events team that set this event up. Thank you. I have one more offer of thanks. It's been said many times already. Families and sponsors, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, following the recession of the graduates, uh, we are going to invite you to have a cocktail with us in another area of the hotel. Um, as you stand to leave after the students have left us, sorry, you're no longer students, the graduates have left us. <laughs> <laughs> we will have transport just outside the door for you to take you round to the cocktail as it's much easier than walking through the five floors you have to climb to the event room. I ask you all to stand for the recession of the graduates, please. Once again, congratulations and we'll see you at the cocktail. Thank you. Thank you.